Hopefully by now you're somewhat comfortable with delineating watersheds using USGS contour maps. But let's look at how you can use LiDAR data in New York uh, to get a little more detailed view of the contours. So you should know about the New York State GIS Clearinghouse already if you're working in a soil and water district in New York. So just browse to that. If not, just Google search it. Once you're on the home page, you click on the ortho imagery link here and then start the ortho imagery application. And this is their kind of a web map portal where you go to download aerial photos if you want to use those in GIS. First click over on the layers button over on the right. And let's turn off all those orthos. That'll let us see what DEMs are available better. So the lighters are stored as DEMs, that's a digital elevation model. You see these all these different options, all the way from 0.7 meter resolution, that's the distance between points in the grid. So a smaller uh, meter number means that it's more accurate. 0.7 meter, all the way up to 10 meter. Now these 10 meter DEMs are just uh, derivations of the USGS contour maps. They've been scanned in and digitized. Uh, so they're no better resolution than the contour maps, even though they are digital. So let's turn that off and turn off, turn on all the other ones. And all these other ones are derived from LiDAR scans. So if you're trying to get an idea of what's our overall coverage in New York for LiDAR, this is basically it. It's all of Long Island and you know, some of the southern tier and then kind of scattered counties uh, in between and around. So hopefully you're in a county that has LiDAR coverage. If not, then you don't get, don't get to use it. All right, so let's look at how to download it now. Uh, say we're over here in Livingston. As you zoom in, it'll limit your layers to the only the ones available in that view. So that's kind of nice. I'm going to turn them off, off for now and find a farm. Uh, that we can use as an example. Let me make sure to get one that's uh, on a border. How about? How about right here? All right, so say our project is in this area. Okay, one meter DEM index, USDA, UTM 18N. That is the, the layer that's available, and it shows that there is coverage in that area. So to download it, you go to this download folder over here. It's a folder with a little arrow on it. I click on it. Uh, I usually do current view. And then it'll give you the option to download orthos. Uh, but we don't need those. We're going to use a web service for those. Uh, so we want DEM results. Show tile list. And then each of these image files needs to be downloaded separately. Just right click it. Do save link as. Then I'm just going to put it on my C drive. In the Cortland folder. Uh, right here. Save that one, then do the right click, save link as, same folder, save it. All right, now let's jump over to GIS and see how we load those and generate contours.